it's a chill like 34 degrees outside but the sun is out so that's nice the usual skate park i go to is covered in snow right now so i'm over here at the more local to my house south brunswick skate park which clearly doesn't even have a drop of snow on it which is weird like 10 minutes down the road there's snow covering the ground so yeah it's cold outside but i'm just trying to see like what tricks i can get today let me try to warm it on up Regression video. What yeah. of that? Yeah. That's like a regression video. Ollie North, I used to do that like 20 years ago. Not today. But getting old tricks back, you know, it'd be a good clickbait uh, video. What else do I not do regularly? Like a varial kickflip? Yeah. I definitely don't do that. I do, uh, uh, oh, now I'm definitely doing varial flip. Wow, I think so. <laughs> Like slow. Yeah, should, should, I, should, I, should I do it again? Do it one more time. I'll do one more time. It's yeah. Kind of yeah. Woo! Dude, just got my butt handed to me by a very real kickflip. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Wow. You good? Yeah. No wonder people just like don't do this. Trip. You still look good. Thanks, man. No problem. First one was better. They were both like equally as gross. Yeah. It's a gross trick, so I get it. Uh, I think it's an underrated trick, man. I used to do them all the time when I didn't know how to tray flip. Yeah, when, when you younger. were 12, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, me I too. Could, I, I did them all the time. Flip, so I did them. Exactly. And when I learned how to tray flip, I'm like. When I was like a little grommet, I did it. And then, yeah, once you learn how to tray, you kind of just forget about that trick. Yeah. Dude, I think it's because you actually flip varial flip over your front foot. Right. Oh, oh, exactly. Like, you really have to push that front foot into it. Yeah, I mean, that's like, how I do them. So. Like, yeah, yeah, like I almost yeah. like I know I use the back foot, but it doesn't really like feel like I do it all. Almost like a pop shove it. It's just yeah. kind of like pop down, really light. Yeah, the lightest really, of toe scoops. That ninety is pretty easy, so you don't. It's more in the front foot for sure. Yeah, and then trays are all in the back foot. <laughs> I'm driving to the skate park right now in this shit storm of snow where there's freaking flakes bigger than dingleberries falling down from the sky, sticking to the road. Not for nothing, the roads are like not very salted right now either. So things are getting kind of slippery, but I want to skate. I want to skate that bad. I trekked out in the ice and snow, but turns out I forgot my shoes. I never skate in slip-ons. So this is going to be interesting.
So I wore slip-ons to the skate park today because it's like snowing and wet outside. I was gonna walk into the skate park and change into my skate shoes, which I am skating the pillars. The pillar by America is my go-to shoe to skate. But as you can see, I left them right by the door. So what I ended up with was cold, wet slip-ons to skate today, which was not very pleasant. Like I am not one of those people that just skate slip-ons, though I know there are people out there that swear by them, like they'll only skate in slip-ons. Like the rep that hooks me up, like that flows me, America stuff, he only skates in slip-ons. I have no idea how he does it, but I myself, I like a little bit more protection or just a little bit more there. But thank God I was wearing those slip-ons because those are G6 slip-ons by America. And like, look at dudes like Braden Hoban. He only skates in G6 slip-ons by America. So not for nothing, America does make the absolute best slip-on shoe to skate in in the entire world, for sure, out of any company. Their G6 slip-ons are fully reinforced, like the entire shoe has like a little bit extra padding all around it, and they are made of super strong suede, so they hold up well and they last a while. But thank God I was wearing those slip-ons today because they saved my entire session at that skate park, that indoor park, which is called Level Up Skate Park. It's in Brick, New Jersey. If you wanna go skate there, you do have to go to their website, levelupskatepark.com. You have to create a profile. Uh, I did it earlier today. It only took like two seconds and you could do it on your phone, uh, but they have you like sign up for the two hour sessions. They are two hour sessions. Uh, they have you do that on their website because they only have like 20 slots a session. It's not the biggest skate park, but the 20, 20 person cap thing, it, it is kind of nice. So. You go to the website, you sign up for a session, you pay for the session, and then you go to the skate park and you check in and you go skate. And when I went to the skate park today to check in, freaking Chompy was behind the desk checking people in. So Chompy checked me in, which is, it doesn't get much better than that, dude. That dude rips. Like he's gonna check you in on the skate park and he's gonna do a front side air over your head. He's gonna like blunt kickflip on your face. I'm just kidding. Chompy's a really nice guy. He wouldn't do that. 